Mr. Pepper here has got him case of some kind of wilt, whether it be bacteria, fungus, not quite sure. But today we're going to investigate and try and find out what killed Mr. Pepper. Stick around. One, two, three, four. You're living in a pub and you got no space. You want to grow some shit. You want to feel your play, but you get no sun and you got no time right now. I drove so low. So as you can see, Mr. Pepper here is quite sick. He's got these fucked up leaves here where they're just kind of dying along the edges and there's all sorts of brownish dead discoloration on the inside. Uh, most of the leaves have already fallen off and I did cut back some of the plant to try and save it, but it was hopeless. So there's a couple different things that could be causing Mr. Pepper here to get sick and pass away. One is a bacterial infection, and two is a fungal infection. Both of those seem to be the likely culprit here. Uh, let's investigate. All right, let's see if there's any water. Let's... Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking fruits fell off. So the first thing we're going to check for is a bacterial infection. Now bacteria usually spread pretty rapidly. They like to fuck, so they'll get up into the plant and kill it pretty quick within three to four days, which didn't happen in this case. Uh, and sometimes there'll be little lesions on the stem here, little water-soaked rings, which I do not see. On another telltale sign is if we cut the stem here, we may see a milky substance. So let's go ahead and do that. Cut that motherfucker. Cut it. Cut the son of a bitch. Motherfucker. I'm not seeing any white, yellowy substance oozing out of the stem here. So I don't think it's bacterial, which I guess is good, uh, but let's check for fungus. So if we have a fungal disease, it should show about the same symptoms as bacteria, except it doesn't set in until later in the growing season. And as you can see, he's been setting fruit, so we're kind of late in the growing season here. Uh, it also dies a slower death, so it won't die immediately. Only part of the plant will die first and take the rest with it later. And another telltale sign of the fungus is if we do a little cross section here of the stem, which we'll do in a second, there should be some little brown, darkish striations in there. I guess the vascular system, the blood or whatever, getting all gummed up with the fungus. So let's do a quick cross section here to see if we can't see, get any more evidence. So I'm not seeing anything here that would indicate a fungal disease, at least not the, the reddish brown striations in the stem. Looks pretty white to me, pretty healthy actually, although it does look dead. So I wonder if maybe it was reddish brown at one point and it's just died back enough to where it doesn't show up anymore. Huh, that's fucking weird. Well, fuck me. So it's kind of hard to say what killed this thing it doesn't seem to be explicitly bacterial uh, doesn't seem to be explicitly fungal either so I'm gonna call it fungus because it didn't die fast uh, just because it doesn't have these red striations in here I don't think that that is necessarily indicative that it wasn't fungal uh, but it does have these kind of dark brown these lesions here on the branches that could be part of that fungal disease as well. Um, actually, you know what? Let's cut a fruit open and see what it looks like on the inside. Hmm. 
Hmm. It doesn't look too bad, actually. It sets some seeds in there. Looks fairly healthy, although it's not quite ripe. Yeah, that's very strange. Almost edible, even though I wouldn't fucking trust it. I don't get no damn fungus growing in my belly. I don't want to fucking die. No, be no fungus man like that stone man in Game of Thrones. Nope, you don't fucking get me. To sacrifice myself to the White Walkers. Fuck that. All right. Well, shit. Not exactly sure what killed it, but it points to fungus. It very. It sounds so much like fungus. Only because it died slowly and not quickly like the bacterial, like is the telltale sign of the bacterial. Uh, so I'm going to say fungus. Now what we're going to do is we're going to throw this motherfucker in the trash and say a few words for him. Mr. Pepper, you were a good friend. I thought you'd give me fruit, but you fucked up and got sick. Goodbye. Rest in peace. <laughs> I'll give this tree some fungus. You're gonna get the fungus, you motherfucker. <laughs> My balls itch. <laughs>